Well, I've been going to APS for a couple of decades. It really is a celebration of science and the psychology conference that is most scientifically oriented. We really do need effective harm reduction efforts for all types of substances, whether they're you know legal, illegal, or possibly becoming legal. And things like psychedelics and MDMA are very much in the popular mindset and, and media now. More and more people seem to be taking it. And right now, many people are self-medicating or going through underground uh, sources and really need to be educated and informed about the potential harms and risks of all these different substances. It's important because if you have an educational session and people do well on the test, but then they forget it, then how useful is that going to be in real life? My presentation is on the study of the effectiveness of the GPF Foundation educational program on MDMA. What we found through this study is that educational group sessions can significantly increase students' knowledge of MDMA in a lasting manner. Because of the pandemic, the entire intervention had to be delivered via Zoom. And so the results we evaluated, the effectiveness of the intervention, was measured for a Zoom intervention. So the GPF Foundational Educational Program includes various things like the adulterations that are possible with MDMA, the side effects, um, and that includes long-term, short-term, um, as well as what to do if an individual chooses to consume MDMA and how to care for an individual um, in that setting. So we measured people four times. We measured people a few weeks before they did an uh, educational session. We measured people right before an educational session. We measured people right after an educational session. And we measured people a few weeks later. From right before to right after, they increased a very large amount, a statistically significant difference. And so what we see is lasting changes in people's knowledge about MDMA over several weeks. If they don't have the knowledge, they can't really adequately assess risk in any meaningful way. And so by giving people some real knowledge about what's going on, they're more able to sort of realistically evaluate what they might experience, what they might face. And so this program gives people knowledge, not just knowledge that like, oh, I did the session and I remember it right after. Pretty much every session will make that happen. But this knowledge lasts. And so that's what's important about what we've done. I learned from the poster presentation that the GPF Foundation is focused on educating users and professionals about recreational MDMA usage. Uh, I think that's really important because we all are adults here and I think that in America you should be able to make your informed decisions, but it is important to have that education where you're free to do so. I think as students we are so conditioned to listening to lectures and lectures and to have something like that stick is vitally important as we you know, go on in our futures and make our own adult choices. So something that sticks as well as that presentation did and that, uh, that education did uh, is really important. This sort of education can have a big impact on people in the sense that giving people knowledge might change behavior. And so the next thing I think that maybe people would want to investigate is whether or not people's MDMA usage and how people are cautious and test whether or not their drugs have been tainted and, and whatnot might be something that results from this knowledge. We, we don't know, um, but while I don't know that their behavior is going to change just because they have the knowledge, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to change if they don't have the knowledge. So this is a fantastic first step.